guys, this is Trisha with another motivational moment. Today we're going to talk about dealing with bipolar and knowing the signs of bipolar. Um, so many people have um, is bipolar but doesn't know they're bipolar. Some of the signs are being bipolar are um, crying all the time. Um, sometimes you're happy, sometimes you, you're um, happy, sometimes you're sad. Um, isolating yourself away from everybody. Um, you're just all over the place all the time. You, you're crying about everything. I mean, everything makes you cry. Everything makes you feel just bad about yourself. Dealing with di di bipolar, you're stressed out all the time. You're um, just angry about stuff. You just don't know what's going on. I say um, when you're going through these type of situations, you need to seek help before it get out of hand. Um, being that I am a counselor, I deal with bipolar children all the time. Um, thinking about suicide, thinking about killing themselves, thinking about cutting themselves. You know, I know how it is to deal with these type of things because um, I have people telling kids telling me today that they hear voices. They just all over the place. So when you deal with this type of help, try to seek help um, because it's bad. It's getting out of hand. I mean, everybody getting it. It could come from um, a long time ago when you were growing up. You're dealing with stress and it turned to bipolar. You just it's just so much stuff. So. When you're going through this type of stuff, just pray about it and try to see if you can get some help because bipolar is an illness and, you know, it doesn't go away on its own. Sometimes you need a little help, medicine or whatever, cause, or seeing a psychiatrist or something because um, you can be all over the place. You can isolate yourself, stay in a room all day, cry, think about suicide. You think about all types of stuff when you're dealing with this um, Your mood swings all day long. You're happy one day. You're sad the next. You're... you're, you're your joy is your whatever, but you just you just be all over the place. So that's what I'm trying to say. When you're dealing with this type of stuff, try to get some help and try to talk to somebody. Um, get a prayer partner or somebody. Just get some help because um, it's bad. I mean, I see a lot of people on a daily dealing with this. Like I said, I deal with it at my job. Um, little kids, um, youngest five years old, already bipolar and just, you know, they just going through stress all day long, you know. Adults going through post-traumatic stress also because of bipolar. You just you just don't know where to go. You be all over the place. You, you know you, you want to be happy, but you can't be happy because you're you something like holding you back from being happy. So you're always crying and miserable about something. You just all over everywhere. So you know, like I said, I have friends that's dealing with this type of stuff also. You know, it's 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 bad that all these things are going on. Sometimes you can get bipolar just by. Um, it's like really bipolar is just stress. It's just a lot of stress and built up bills, um, family. Family can cause you to go through stuff like this post traumatic stress. So you end up dealing with this on a regular and you just can't, don't think you can get out of it. You know what? I was um, feeling this way um, some years ago because, but it was from my past, dealing with family, dealing with stuff in my past, you know, um, caused you to be bipolar, stressed out, um, depressed, you know crying all the time so these are some signs of that you're dealing with bipolar so you got to um try to get some type of help if you can um seek somebody a counselor or somebody just somebody that can help you can talk to you through this type of stuff because sometimes you can't do this on your own you need somebody to help you when it comes to this type of situation because it's hard to even um deal with type of stuff like this because you don't know Sometimes people don't know they, they're bipolar. Some people don't know they're stressed out. Some people don't know they have a mental illness problem because they're dealing with so much stuff in life. It's just overtake them, you know, bills, um, family, friends, just everything is just all in the way of your happiness. So you end up um, secluding yourself from the world, just isolating yourself from everybody. You just stay to yourself. You cry. You don't, you don't seek help. So... That's why I'm trying to say when you're dealing with this stuff, don't do that because you, it goes to more problems. It goes to more serious problems. You may end up um, thinking about suicide, thinking about that you're not good enough for the world. You're not good enough for yourself because usually when you're dealing with this type of stuff, you think you're not good enough for yourself. You don't think you're good enough for the world. So you end up saying, you know, why am I here? Why is this happening to me? Or just, just you just do all types of stuff because you don't want to face what reality is really is and that's just you're dealing with bipolar you don't want to face that so you end up um just doing other things other than ignoring you what you have that problem that you have mostly people doesn't ignore being bipolar being stressed out being um under a lot of um you know pressure because they don't want to deal that they have bipolar issues and it's okay 
it's not the end of the world because everybody deal with that sometimes but mostly people seek help and some people just ignore it and keep on going on with their life and like i said it's not the end of the world when you go through these type of stuff you just get with somebody and somebody that's going to talk to you and listen to you and understand you mostly people have this problem because people just don't listen to them and they just overwhelmed with stuff bills just overwhelmed with stuff you just sometimes you can get overwhelmed with stuff and you just don't know which way to go you know i get like that sometimes i just get so overwhelmed with life itself but when you get overwhelmed with stuff do something about it don't stay in that mode because it causes more problems not only just problems it causes serious problems so yeah so i get overwhelmed it's not the end of the world because you get overwhelmed it's just that life gets you that way so when life gets you that way don't let it get you down Get back up and try to get some help for what you're going through. Talk to somebody. And believe me, they'll listen to you, especially a psychologist. She'll listen to you talk, a counselor or whatever. They'll listen to you talk about your problem because um, bipolar can cause sadness. You're always sad. Sometimes you hear something, you cry about it. Um, you're happy one day. And it's just a lot of mood swings going on all the time. So when you're dealing with this, I try to get some help and try to seek help and get with somebody that's going to really listen to you because... Everybody you talk to is not going to listen to you. They don't want to hear your problems. But if you find the right person as counselor or psychologist, they're going to listen to you. Go seek help. Don't stay in that mode. You're too beautiful for that. So if you're going through these type of changes, sadness, mood swings, um, just um, depression, stress, all over the place, you just don't know if you're coming or going, seek help. It's not the end of the world. God got you. He's not going to leave you when you're going through these situations. Just try to get some help because I know how it is to be sad all the time. I know how it is to be have mood swings sometimes. I mean, you you can't, don't seem like you can have a great relationship because you're back and forth. What I mean by back and forth, you're back and forth with your situation, your your mood swings. I mean, one day you're happy with this, your partner, one day you're sad with your partner. So if you want a relationship to last, you have to try to seek some help because people are trying to figure out what's going on. So if people are trying to figure out what's going on with you, try to seek some help. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, everybody go through situations sometimes. I mean, even counselors, everybody have stress, post-traumatic stress. Some people go through more than others, but don't think it's the end of the world because you're wonderful just the way you are. Just try to get some help and seek it as soon as possible so you can enjoy your life better and uh, enjoy each other. So always remember that um, it's just not the end of the world because you're dealing with this bipolar is common in a lot of people some people don't know they have it some people i'm scared to say they have these type of things but don't be afraid because you're not alone in this situation just seek help um and do what you got to do <clears throat> to to live and be happy whatever you do um i want you guys to thank you for listening to this video make sure you watch this video to the end is very very important because bipolar is very very important so watch it to the end just don't watch it from the beginning watch it to the end make sure you guys give this video a big old thumbs up and i want to say god bless you guys be kind to one another and don't forget to smile no matter what you're going through bye